Hello friends. So in the previous videos, we have been seeing some basic things regarding three-phase uh, transformers. And in the last video, we saw uh, the basic terminologies of uh, what we have to use while analyzing three-phase transformers, right? And uh, we saw that the when you are using a three-phase bank, that is three single-phase transformers connected in a particular way so that it becomes a three-phase transformer. Okay, So you are having transformer A which has primary and secondary here, transformer B, which has primary and secondary here, transformer C, which has its primary and secondary here. And I told you, usually the primaries are uh, numbered or uh, assigned capital letters. So this is the primary side. Uh, so this transformer A, which has a primary and secondary here. So the capital letters are for the primary and the small letters are for the secondary. And I also told you the dot conventions are very important in understanding all these things. So usually we put the dot in the area where we write a1 in the primary and we put the dot where we write small a1 small letter a1 where we put the secondary say so that's how we have marked it all here you can clearly see and i told you in a star connection what you do you either connect you connect similar ends together that is how it becomes a star connection so you can connect either a1 b1 c1 supply voltages to a2 b2 and c2 or you connect a2 b2 c2 together and you supply voltages to a1 b1 and c1 so today we can just connect this uh, three things in the primary here. So this is usually represented by a capital N to show the neutral point at the primary side. Okay. So here you can apply your uh, three phase balanced voltage here. So you can uh, you have a switch here like this. So you can connect your three phase balanced voltages VA, VB, VC and VA, VB, VC are balanced three phase voltage. So what is the meaning of balanced three phase voltages? They are the same RMS value but they are differing in electrical angle by 90 degree okay so if you close the switch the voltages if you draw as a phasor diagram here it looks like this so i told you so this will be your voltage v a1 a2 okay or i can write it as v a1 neutral also because a2 b2 c2 are connected to same point called neutral here so i told you the arrow head corresponds to a1 and uh, the a2 corresponds to the other head of the arrow so other side of the arrow so this will be your a1 and this will be your a2 and because A2, B2 and C2 are equipotential points, I can write the same points here. So A2, B2, C2 will be here. So B is separated. So this voltage is VA is V angle 0. Uh, VB is V angle minus 120. And VC is equal to V angle minus 240. So this is in the phase sequence A, B, C. Okay, because uh, B lacks A and C lacks B. So that is how we draw this. So because the phase sequence is A, B, C, the B vector will look like this. So this will be your uh, V, B1, B2. Okay, this is V, B1, B2. So the arrow head will have B1 and the other end has uh, B2 here. And the C phase will look like this. So the arrow side, so this will V, C1, C2 and the arrow head will have C1 and the other point here, which is same, I have already marked it to be C2 here. So today's lecture is a very different lecture. So we are going to do a wrong star-star connection, which will actually tell you the importance of the dot polarities of using uh, transformers. Okay, so for example, some foolish person. So actually, if you know the concept, you know that to get the uh, proper star connection in the secondary side, you should connect A1, B1, C1 or you should connect A2, B2 and C2. So if I connect these three together and take the voltage across here, I will get a similar phasor diagrams. That is uh, the phase voltages will be separated with each other by 120 degree. But let us assume that there is a foolish person. He does not the con know the concept or importance of dot polarities and do he does this particular connection and tells you that it is a star connection. So he does something like this. Okay. And he does something like this. Okay. So you can clearly see rather than connecting A1, B1 and C1 or A2, B2 and C2, he has connected A2 with B1 and he has connected C2 with B1. Okay, So he has taken two different points of two different windings and connected to a <coughs> sorry common point here. So if you think that it is going to give you a balanced three phase uh, supply in the secondary side, we have to do a little bit of analysis to see here. Now, I already told you, uh, even though these are <coughs> three transformers connected together to become a three phase transformer, between each transformer, that is transformer primary, transformer A primary side and secondary side, it will obey the rules of a single phase transformer. That means I already told you <coughs> the transformation ratio K, it is K, that means the voltage across VA1, VA2 will be K into 
V capital A1 capital A2. Right. Similarly, for B1, B2 also you can write the results here. So let's now <coughs> see for this particular phasor diagram what you are going to get. For sorry, for this particular circuit, what will be the phasor diagrams? Now uh, clearly the secondary voltages that is between the coils that is the voltage at V A1. Uh, v a1 a2 v b1 b2 and v c1 c2 at the secondary side will be in phase with the secondary voltages in the uh, sorry uh, with the in phase with the primary voltage right so v a1 a2 will be in phase with v capital a1 capital a2 v b1 b2 will be in phase with v capital b1 capital b2 and v c1 c2 that is the secondary voltage will be in phase with capital c1 capital c2 okay so this is just basic uh, single phase transformer tricks now so if i just simply draw these things here so this let this be v a1 a2 so this head is a1 and this head is a2 and uh, so these two are in phase so i'll just mark that here so these two are in phase okay and uh, let us draw for a v b1 b2 that is in the secondary side this voltage v b1 b2 so that uh, voltage phasor will be parallel to this particular voltage phasor this one which i am showing here so that will be something like this so these two are parallel so these two are parallel with each other okay and what is that voltage it is v uh, small b1 small b2 because this is the secondary side so this first letter will be the arrow head the second letter will be the other side of the arrow so these two are in phase with each other that is basic single phase transformers now the third voltage phasor will be drawing for vc1 c2 that is on the secondary side so that will be parallel to this particular vector here in the primary side so that will look something like this okay now i have not connected these two together because in the earlier case i had connected a2 b2 and c2 because a2 b2 c2 were connected with each other but in this case a2 is connected to b1 and c2 is connected to b1 so those are the equipotential points so this is c1 c2 and this voltage vector will be v capital so small c1 small c2 and these two vectors will be parallel to each other okay so one dash means you can see these two are parallel these two are parallel and these two are also parallel with each other now we have to connect the uh, phasor diagrams properly okay now if a2 b2 c2 were connected together i can just connect these three easily and i can uh, tell that it is a three phase balanced voltage because each phase <coughs> and uh, will have a Uh, difference of 120 degree but here you see that a2 is connected with b1 right in the wrong star star connection a2 is connected with b1 and uh, c2 is connected with b1 c2 is connected with b1. so a2 is connected with b1 so how do connect how do i connect a2 with b1 because here a2 and b1 are the equipotential points so i have to move this vector in the same direction parallel to this particular vector and i have to bring it here okay so let's draw that once again so this will be v a1 a2 now i am not going to put these other subscripts here so if i just move this like this here so i can put it like this so this will be your b1 and this will be your b2 and this voltage will be v b1 b2 okay so this is the vector diagram for this configuration okay this configuration and what about uh, <coughs> b1 is connected to c2 right b1 is connected so this point is b1 and where is see this vector is here okay so we can just directly connect it here so we can just bring it parallelly that angle has to be maintained okay so it should be parallel with this particular vector here so this will be your c1 and this is your c2 so clearly you can see this is a1 and this is a2 so in this particular junction here in this particular junction a2 b1 and c2 are connected together so you see a2 is connected with b1 and c2 is connected with b1 right so in this junction a2 b1 and c2 are connected so if you look at this closely here the voltages let's take it to the next page copy it here from and let us paste it here okay so let's just make it a little bit big also yeah so in this phasor diagram if you see the magnitude of v a1 a2 okay this magnitude this vector magnitude will be equal to v b1 b2 and that magnitude is equal to v c1 c2 the magnitude has not changed because it basically works on transformers right transformer single phase transformers but you see the angle is not same so even though the magnitudes are same they are not separated by 120 degree they are not separated by 120 degree 
separated by 120. If they would have been separated by 120 degree, the vector diagram would look like this. This is VA1, A2. This is VB1, B2. And this would be VC1, C2. This is the balanced three phase supply that we all know. But this is not a balanced three phase supply. Now, if you see the line voltages here, that is, uh, we can, uh, because these two points are connected, we can measure the voltages VA1 and uh, VB1. Okay, we can measure the, no. Uh, these two points are connected, right? So we will measure these voltages. We can measure VA2, B2. Okay, so we are going to measure VA2, B2, VA2, B2, and then we can measure the voltage across uh, because this point is free now and this point is free now, so they don't have any interconnections. So we can measure VB2, C1, <coughs> V. B2, C1 and then we can measure the voltage between the A phase and the C phase. Now, so here C2 already has a connection and A2 already has a connection. So, we can make a measurement between V A1 and C1 or V C1 and A1, anything. So, V C1 and A1. Okay. So, let us see the line voltages here. So, <coughs> A2, B2, right. So, A2, B2 is this line here. Okay. So, V A2, B2. And that V A2 B2, you can see that and let us see the next voltage which is V B2 C1. So, where is B2? This is B2 here. So, B2 C1. So, this is B2 C1. So, if I just draw join this line here. So, this is V B2 C1. Okay. And this is V A2 B2. You can clearly see these two magnitudes will be exactly same. It is simple geometry that is V A2 B2 will be equal to V B2 C1. Okay, so, that is not a problem. But VA1C1, you see, where is VA1C1? This is VA1C1, right? This is VA1C1. Clearly, just by looking the length itself, you can see that these two are not equal to VA1C1 or VC1A1. Okay? So, by connecting the wrong star-star connection, not only you have made the phasor diagram not 120 degree uh, having the proper balance supply that is each phases are not separated by 120 degree each other the line voltages are also not equal okay so by connecting the wrong star star connection what you have done the phases have the phase angles between phase voltages between phase voltages is not equal to 120 degree and the line voltages are also unequal line voltages are also unequal of course, two line voltages were equal, but it is not a balanced system. Within a balanced system, all the three line voltages have to be equal. So, this shows you the importance of what uh, the dot polarities actually mean. So, unless you have an information about the dot polarity, you might not be able to connect the transformer in the secondary side with a proper star connection. Because if you knew the dot polarity, you would have connected A1, B1, C1, or you would have connected A2, B2, C2 and measured the voltage across the other terminal, right? But if you don't have the knowledge, you might connect it in some weird way and you will not get a proper three-phase balance supply at the output of the transformer, okay? So, better than uh, learning something correct first, it is actually better to see what the problems can arise and then see the proper star-star connection. Of course, we will be go going through all the connections in detail in the uh, lectures which are going to come. So, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do please make sure that you share these videos with your friends if they are having any difficulty in understanding not only these topics on transformers but engineering circuit analysis, DC machines and synchronous machines which are already available in the channel. And also at this point of time, I would like to all of you to please also follow my page on Facebook. Facebook group is there, Varun Nair, Let Us Love Engineering and also you can follow me at Twitter at DN Varun. Okay, so if you search in Twitter, uh, I'm f I am also post the links to all these videos at my Twitter account also. And in case you are having some doubts, you can put it up there also and I can maybe <clears throat> put it in a lecture uh, in, the previous, in the next uh, videos whenever I feel like so. So, let us make <coughs> this social media which is a lot of distracting to all of us and uh, in generally consumes a lot of our time. Let us use it in a positive way as well so that we can have healthy discussion. So, I strongly recommend you subscribe to the channel, follow the Facebook group and also if possible, you can follow me on Twitter as well so that we can have a direct line of communication. So, till I see you in the next video, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.